Hello, my friends. And today you will be shocked. So the occupies are breaking through practically without stopping. And I wouldn't want to support the statements of Russian war correspondents, but it seems they have indeed entered operational spaces and have started advancing rapidly through Ukrainian territory. So how else can we explain what is happening in the Avdivka direction? I don't know. And uh, let's start with the fact that yesterday evening Russian aviation launched guided bombs over the Donetsk region. At the same time, it was confirmed that the Russians have completely captured Solovyova and have already advanced beyond the village. So only in this sector of the front, the advance was immediately 3 kilometers and 600 meters. And because of this advance, they have powerfully begun to break through immediately towards the populated place Sokil. All this information is officially confirmed by the General Staff of Ukraine. Battles are also raging in the area of Novokrovska and even near Novoselivka, Persia. So here they have seriously advanced by 5 kilometers. Essentially, Novokrovska is already summer encircled. As seen, the occupants have practically unhindered started advancing, which most likely means they are entering operational spaces where there are no fortifications. At the same time, uh, the situation around Keramik is extremely complex. Here, they have advanced by three and a half kilometers. And they are assaulting the city from all sides and practically destroying the positions of the Ukrainian forces there. Uh, because of the movement around Keramik, they are now moving towards Kalinova through the fields and continue their attacks on Arkhangelsk. Uh, to say that the situation here is critical is an understatement. Essentially, today there are 14 and 5 kilometers left from the front line to Novogrodivka. And this is the first major populated place that will be in their path. And today, uh, this situation here is developing even worse than I anticipated. So, friends, what do you think about what is happening today? Please write your thoughts in the comments. Uh, will help from the US arrive in time? And will it possible to stop the Russians? Meanwhile, in the direction of Marinka, uh, the occupiers conducted 11 attacks within a day. And as before, they are storming Krasnohorivka, trying to break through to Georgievka, and attempts to advance from Novomikhailivka to Paraskovivka continue. So they are breaking through closer to the populated place and carried out a large number of shelling. But there are no changes in the front line within the day. In the direction of Buhlidar, uh, the occupies are conducting assaults on Stromayorske and Urajayne. Um, they also attempt to advance closer to Vadyane, but they don't achieve success and there are no changes in the front line within the day. Uh, at the same time, shelling along the front line continues, and during the day, 15 populated areas were shelled. In the direction of Zaporizhia, uh, the occupants continue assaults on Robotina, and shelling along the front line is recorded. Uh, however, they don't achieve success as before, and there are no changes in the front line within a day. In the direction of Kherson, uh, the Ukrainian forces have achieved new successes. So it's reported that the Ukrainian military has gained control over Nestiha Island in the Kherson region. And this was announced by Sersky, uh, but the occupies continue shelling the right bank as before. And Russian war correspondents have confirmed the loss of the island. Well, how to say? Yes, we really the whole island of Nestriga in the Dnieper Delta. 
Yes. Today there was an attempt to bring it back. Yes. There were tough battles. But the question is different. Nestriga Island is of strategic importance in the Kursan direction. Whoever controls the island controls the entrance and exit to the Dnieper Delta. There was a small garrison on this island up to a platoon of the 61st Brigade of the Northern Fleet, these are the ones that were recently awarded, we even made a post on the canal. Uh, in the Bakhmut direction today, this situation remains extremely challenging. Uh, following yesterday's, so let's say, lull, uh, the number of assaults has increased significantly, with 25 attacks in a single day. So attacks are reported in Hrohorivka, the Canal Microdistrict, Ivanivska, Klushivka, and Andreevka. So it's evident that the reserves accumulated in Bakhmut have now entered the fray and launched a broad front offensive. So friends, uh, to be honest, I never cease to be amazed uh, by the amount of manpower and equipment Russia possesses. Similarly, in the Sirsk direction, uh, there are also numerous assaults underway. So attacks are being conducted in Vashnyokaminske, Spirne and Vyimka. Uh, there have been no advancements in the past day, but more than 10 attacks per day indicate their efforts to break through here as well. Uh, in the Crimea direction, battles a region in the areas of Nevske, Perny, and in the poorest near Crimea. Um, they are not making any headway here, and the front line has remained unchanged for the day. Uh, but in the Svatova area, there is extremely bad news. So the occupants have advanced a whopping 7 kilometers and 600 meters to the settlement of Kopanke. And now, they are launching assaults on three settlements simultaneously Kopanke, Novosarhivka, and Novoyhorivka. So it's evident that this is the second major advance by the Russians in this direction within two days. Additionally, to the north, battles are underweight for Stelmachivka and Berestove. So the situation on this front, as it appears, uh, is seriously deteriorating. In the Kupensk direction, uh, battles are taking place in the area of Kislivka. Uh, the Ukrainian side doesn't confirm the complete capture of the village, but uh, reports ongoing fighting there. Meanwhile, shelling along the front line continues unabated. Unfortunately, uh, today's reports are starting to look very active. Just like at the beginning of the war, when the front line moved very actively. And apart from today's Russian advances, in just the past week, they have seized nearly 27 square kilometers of Ukrainian land. And if we count the gray zone, Ukraine has lost 36 square kilometers. So it's evident that the delay in military aid from the US comes at too high cost. Meanwhile, uh, President of the Alliance of Union, George Simeon, emphasized the importance of Trump. How important is President Trump? It's very important because uh, you must keep your demons uh, in uh, the United States and uh, fight them and crush them. Because uh, if you let them out and if you, uh, they don't have any problems uh, in the United States, they will come after us, uh, destroying Western Europe, destroying Eastern Europe, destroying, destroying the civilization as uh, we know it. Uh, there are uh, heavy fighting between globalists and patriots all over the world. And for us, the Trump victory means uh, the patriotic uh, victory in the future for our Europe and for our world. And that's all for me. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest news. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.